Hey guys, this is Gravel Hunter. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get proper working with the current Source SDK that we're using today. Um, this guide I found in the Steam community. I'm simply just going over it via video. The, all the credits goes to the creator of this guy, which is, I think it's called Marnimo. I, I don't know how to fucking say that name. But at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post his profile. And I'm also going to post it on the link in the description. So if you want to go ahead and give him a thank you, that would be nice. Um, but yeah, all credits go to him. So um, anyways, to get started, you have to make sure you have your Source SDK, in, like the latest Source SDK installed. I don't, I just downloaded this right now. So this one's ready to play. Once you have this installed, you need to go ahead and also download this one too. Source SDK, Source SDK Base 2007. So you just go ahead and just get that done and then wait for that to finish. Once Source SDK Base 2007 is done, you wanna go ahead and run this once so that way this can go ahead and be converted for steam pipe. Once you started running that, go ahead and double check that you have Source SDK Base 2007 on your Steam Apps common folder. So that will be Program Files or Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and it should be here, Source SDK Base 2007, right on top of Source SDK. Now, once you know that's there, you can go ahead and start running Source SDK. Once that's loaded, you want to go ahead and make sure your engine version is at Source Engine 2007 and click on Create Mod. Go ahead and make sure that Modify Half-Life 2 Single Player is selected. Go ahead and click Next. You want to go ahead and look for a directory to put this in. I, in my case, I'm just going to just put it in here. New folder, Mod. Let's go ahead and copy that that there and we can go ahead and enter a name right here I'm just gonna call it proper I think it's two P's right whatever just give it a name it doesn't have to be proper let's go ahead and click next and let that load once that's done you want to go ahead and go to your steam apps folder click on source mods proper or whatever mod you named it and go ahead and click on game info from there you should go ahead and change the steam app ID to 218 so just go ahead and just simply change that to 218 hit file hit save and let's just go ahead and close that once you have that saved we can go ahead and download proper from the mob db file yeah mobdb.com database whatever it's called go ahead and uh, download proper I will, I will save the link in the description and you can go ahead and download that yourself once we have the file downloaded we want to go ahead and open it up with uh, whichever software you use I use WinR go ahead and open source SDK open bin open source 2007 and then keep this right here you want to go ahead and extract this bin folder right here Go ahead and close that and you want to put this inside your source 2007 folder inside source SDK. So we're going to go back to our comments folder. We're going to go ahead and select source SDK. Go ahead and select bin source 2007 and then we can go ahead and drag this bin folder right onto here and then just hit yes and everything will be put on there. Now we can go ahead and launch the hammer editor from the current game proper, the engine version 2007. Once your hammer is loaded, we need to go to tools, hit options, and we need to go ahead and add the FGD file of proper, which is the file that we downloaded from mobdb. So we can go ahead and hit add, and it should be here already. It should be called proper FGD. Just go ahead and click on that, just double click on that. Once you click on it, just hit OK, close hammer, and just run it back again. Now, let's go ahead and make a model.
Once you have something put together, you can go ahead and file and run map. Don't forget to save it. Go ahead and click on expert. Click on edit. Hit new. Call it proper. That way you know. I always forget the other P. That way you'll know what it is. Go ahead and hit close on that. On the configurations drop down list, you're going to go ahead and click proper. And then on the compile slash run commands, you want to go ahead and hit new. You want to go ahead and check this box right here. You want to go ahead and go to this address command bar and type in proper. Then click on the command button and select executable. Then go ahead and look for the proper.exe file which should be in your comments folder. I don't know why it took me there, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it there. So, this will be program files 86, Steam, oh, I'm not hitting us. Steam apps, common, source SDK, bin, source SDK 2007, bin, and then we look for proper, which is right here. Go ahead and hit open on that. In the parameters field, you want to go ahead and paste this right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and put it down on the bottom of the description of this video. And then we hit go. If everything worked, you should have a completely working proper for your hammer editor. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. This is Gravel Hunter. Peace. You go ahead and give a big thank you to Marty May. Because, uh, I, like I said earlier, I followed this guide and just converted it into a video. So, if you guys ever on Steam, which most likely all you guys are, you can go ahead and just give him a thank you on his uh, little guide here, setting up proper for Steam Pipe. <laughs>